Jazz Jack. Out of This World, also known as Another World, is a tough game to review because it's got some elements that make the game stand out from literally every other Super Nintendo game. But it's got some things that make you question what you're doing with your life. To put it simply, Out of This World is just freaking weird. The unique cinematic style make this game a trip just to look at, but the controls and the gameplay are so stiff and so maddeningly precise that you're sure to die at least a thousand deaths if you try and play this game all the way through, and that's hardly an exaggeration. This game is brutal. But I liken it to Super Ghouls and Ghosts. While this isn't as good as that game, despite the difficulty, there's something about it that's just so enticing, you just want to keep playing just to find out what the hell is going on. I mean, look how freaking creepy this is. What is this thing? Where am I? What the hell's going on? What did he say? Anesta? What the hell is that? My I, uh, I, don't, I, I don't even... Uh. That's seriously my reaction playing this game almost the entire time. Just one big series of... What? I don't... Uh, uh, uh. And that's really the main reason why I have to recommend it, just because it's so freaking creepy and screwed up looking. But then there's the beginning of the actual game. What? I died? What the hell just happened? Yeah, you start the game in the middle of a lake. Okay. For real though, what is going on? The opening scrolling text here talks about being in an underground maze looking for your companion, but that's as far as it goes. And it's hard to tell what's going on from the opening cutscene too, but it sure looks cool. And it certainly sets the tone for the rest of the game. Well, if only there were a way to find out what's really going on. Oh, but there is! Thanks to the instruction book. Hey, remember these? Okay, so the book says that you're this dude named Lester, who's this brilliant physicist, and he works in a lab that has a ginormous particle accelerator. You know, like Higgs boson, CERN. This is high-level stuff. So he's trying to recreate the Big Bang in his latest experiment, but a bolt of lightning hits the lab at the moment the particles collide, creating some kind of crazy-ass rift in the space-time continuum, sending him to an alien planet. I like that the instruction book actually has a spoiler alert here in case you get stuck at the beginning. But yeah, that's the story, which is pretty original as far as 16-bit titles go, you gotta hand it that. And hey, not only are the passwords short, they even have less letters to choose from, you gotta love that. Now we get to the downside of the game, which is how difficult it is, and I mean it when I say it, you gotta be exact with everything, it's pretty damn frustrating. There's also loading time, which is always a bummer playing through a cartridge game. But yeah, the controls, woof, oh goodness. This game originally came out for the Amiga in 1990 and was ported to both the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis the next year. The only difference the games have is in the opening scene. Other than that, they're pretty much the same game, so there's not much advantage playing one over the other. Anyway, it's hard to say whether or not Out of This World is worth playing today. It's definitely worth looking at, but just be prepared because the controls are very stiff and very exact and you will die a lot. So I wouldn't blame anybody for quitting. But if this game piques your curiosity, you'll want to trudge ahead. But if not, I don't exactly blame you.